Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at that is extremely important in Adobe After Effects is the feature called Transform. Okay, Transform is very common. You might have used it in Adobe Premiere Pro. We can show you how to use it also in Adobe After Effects. So right now we've imported a footage, we've created a composition, and we have it now imported into our timeline. So all you need to do to enable the transform feature is to come over here to the adobe after effects project panel you can come to this small arrow you just click on it and you see transform coming up down here just like so and when you click on the transform you will have the five basic transform features that are available for after effects these are also very common in adobe premiere pro we have the anchor point the position the scaling the rotation and opacity so we can explain all of them what they mean and how they affect our footage you can apply each and every one of them to all of your footage be it a media picture a video or a text even sometimes you can apply these various transform features and have it work perfectly so let's start with the first one uh, from the bottom which is opacity uh, from the name we just simply means uh, how transparent the image is so for example this is at 100 percent if we try to to zero it just simply shows how opacity uh, the opacity decreases or how see-through it is from that video so if you have any clip behind it you will be very easily able to see what is behind this particular video clip by decreasing the opacity or increasing it accordingly so this is the opacity it increases or decrease you can increase or decrease it to be able to see through that particular clip that you're working on so let's bring it back to 100 the next is the rotation so everyone knows what rotation does of course it rotates the image around the anchor point for example the anchor point is the center point i'll explain that in detail but simply rotation what it does is it simply rotates the image or the clip around anchor point okay so let's do ctrl z to have it set to normal but then rotation is fully understood now the next thing is scaling you can scale up or down you can just simply scale directly uh, or you can zoom out okay you can zoom in or zoom out this is scaling and what you can see when you are playing around with scaling is you have this linking uh, button over here which means the x and y axis are both linked when using this scale so which means you can zoom in and out from both angle from x and y and they will the proportion is going to be the same is going to increase or decrease accordingly using both method uh, using both of them linked together we want to unlink this which means the x axis is going to uh, zoom in or is going to scale up alone okay or the y axis is going to zoom in alone just like that okay so but if you have it linked it means it's going to zoom in and out together okay so just uh, take note of this to have it where we we started okay so the next is the position of course position has to do with the x and y axis uh, position you can move it to the left or along the uh, y axis or along the x axis you can see you can just simply move it by just increasing or decreasing the numbers and the same way you can play around with the x axis you can uh, in the y axis you can increase or decrease accordingly Okay, so movement or position simply defines the x and y position of the uh, video clip or audio clip or any media clip that you have uh, last but not the least is the anchor point anchor point is usually the position or the center of the clip okay the center of the clip from which all the other actions are being taken from so you can see it over here so this means this is the center of the uh, of the of the clip so at any given point if you look at the opacity or look at the scaling of this clip is you can see it is so let's try to link it and you can see it is coming up or growing out from that uh, anchor point which is a center point of the clip you can see it's growing from there and at any given point you may decide to to move it around you can move the anchor point around by coming to this pan behind anchor point option okay or you can use the control the shortcut key y once you click on this you will be able to move the anchor point to any location of your choice if you move it to this location and leave it there then it's going to uh, scale up from that particular location so let's try to link it up and then let's try to scale you can see it's scaling from that particular point and you can scale out from that particular point so that's the beauty of anchor point you have the option also to hold down the control key in windows or the command key or mac after dragging the anchor point and it should be able to snap 
at any given point maybe towards the ed the edges you can snap just like so at any given point and you can snap it let's say to the end of it here and let's try to play around with the rotation for example rotation feature and you can see it's going to rotate along that particular anchor point that is defined and you can it applies to all the other features okay scaling positioning is going to be along the particular anchor point that you have defined so let's take back to normal and take it back to center because that's the default one and that's the most easiest one okay 